Well, hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us once again in the craft vault. Vault, vault, vault. Uh, we've got the keys, we're opening it up. It's a little bit chilly in here is all I will tell you. But listen, you're with us for the next couple of hours for, well, craft vault crazy deals that's what this show is all about the crazy deals um some deals well which i think you're going to absolutely love i'm looking down my list of deals here 51 percent off 50 percent off 70 percent off 60 percent off 43 percent off 75 percent off up to 75 percent off in the craft vault um, so do make sure you pick up those deals what i will say in this show is that there are a lot of items which we don't have huge amounts of stock on so if you see something you like get in quickly grab what you want get it in your basket get it checked out um, and also just to say there's kind of what you see on the show right now is what we've got that we know surprises thrown in later so you can quite happily and confidently uh, shop the show on the website and get all of those deals now also in this show i know we must mention the uh we must mention the important stuff at the top um we want pictures of your cats but ah uh, because this morning we had the wonderful annika stern with us who is a fantastic opera singer obviously we got her to opera and then we obviously then ended up chatting about cats and her cat Pomo, not FOMO, as I kept calling her. Um, we had a picture of Pomo, and then of course you guys sent in your pictures, and the pictures haven't stopped. So pictures of your cats are allowed to I'm allowed to ask for those. Even better if you can get a picture of your cat in, um, in your craft room, doing something a little bit crafty. We'd love that even more. More chance of getting it shown if it's being crafty. Um, we've got loads of people already in with us. We'll say a few hellos in just a second. However, let's say the most important hello uh, to a man. Well, he had a bit of a lion this morning. Uh, wake up, get your wake up call. Oh, no, no. On a Monday, oh, it's a weekend. I think I'll just, I'll just have, a, I'll have a lion. If you can just, can we get Lillian? Yeah, we'll guess. Oh, yeah, you just. Excuse me, lion. Do you know what time I was up this morning? I was in another country. Country? Technically. Hmm? I was sunning it in Jamaica. You do look very tanned. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that. What have you done? I was sunning it in Jamaica. Were you? All those stories. You got all the way back from Jamaica to here? All those stories on Instagram mm. was all false. Mm. I wasn't in Scotland. Mm. It's mum's birthday. Yeah. It's got Jamaica. Mm. Yeah. Looking very well for it. Oh, thank you very much. No, yes. he did have to get up early this morning, but let's not feel sorry for him. No, I'll go back and we can do that intro again. Okay. Before we do the intro again, let's not feel sorry for him. He was there of his own accord, yeah? So he had to get up early, but he's still... Anyway. It's great to have him back. Uh, he's been away in Scotland for the weekend, and he's back with us now for two shows. Isn't it a delight to welcome him back, everybody? Your favourite and mine, looking very tanned, fresh from his holiday in Jamaica, it's the hottie Scotty, Craig Laird. Oh, well, thank you very much for that introduction. Yes, yeah, great it to have you back. To be back. It's good to be back. Yeah, it was only three days. Although, in saying that, uh, one of the legends behind the scenes, Taylor, I was saying to her just not that long ago that, do you know something? I think I've been home to Scotland more in the last uh, seven weeks and a half, in the last seven months, just the way that things have uh, worked out, you know, with trips back home, Grayson's birthday, Christmas, then I was away home this weekend for my mum's birthday. It was her birthday on Friday, so we all had a, a lovely weekend. But yes, that is it. Back now, back into the swing. Massive thank you as well, uh, all serious note, to, to Lily for stepping into a wake-up call. Because if you, if you knew what I'd done the last time, Ben, was I got up about yeah. like quarter to, half three, quarter to four in the morning. I got up so I could get here for a wake-up call. So Lily done wake-up call for me this morning. But yes, here with the craft vault. Boy, what a cracking craft vault that we've got for sure. We've got some incredible things. Colouring, box, I oh, love box dyes, you know, we've got storage as well. But then what we will do as well, we'll then later on in the day, we'll go into Monday Makers. We certainly will. Um, it was lovely to have Lily on the show this morning, but I feel like you missed out on a great show because we had a, our opera singer in, Annika, I'm and I kind of feel like you so and I now and doing our, our duos together, our duets. Yeah. You know, obviously we got to number, number one, didn't we, in the charts with our duet over Christmas. We, you, you could have picked up some more tips from Annika like I did. I, we could have, hey, we could be a, a trio. Yeah, yeah. There's an idea. That would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, I do have to, I will go back tonight and watch Wake Up Call, because uh, I was in the car when it was live, so of course, could be watching, but I need to go back, because I heard it was a brilliant, brilliant show. It was a fun show. I did a bit of opera singing with uh, Annika, she got me planking uh, as well. And that has to, yeah. If you know, if you know, you know. 
interesting. It says it's a good way to kind of oh, when you use a plank. Like, that was it's, good. Oh, was that good? Was it? Was, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were practicing. It has been, yeah. Go, do go back and watch that show earlier because it was a lot of fun. She's some crafting as well. Turns out she's quite a decent crafter. Uh, hi to oh, Radical Rachel, who's on the socials today. Um, also joining us is Ben McCarthy, hey. who says good afternoon. Um, hi, Stephanie Theodos, who says good morning from sunny Farmingdale, New Jersey. Hi to uh, Lisa Kelleher Sorensen, who says good morning. Morning. Uh, Jane Adams says hi from Las Vegas. Hello. Betty Gossel says good morning, everyone. Uh, from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Um, Betty, of course, first First day of your retirement, isn't it? Yes. Um, happy retirement. Vanessa says, how many years have I got to go to Lycan? Oh, too many. 23. Uh, hi. Hi, all. Where's Craig gone? You're right there. Is, he, is, is, is the picture frozen over there? Or is, he, is he just not moving? Are you no, OK? You just belted that out there. Oh. I was away going downstairs to get some samples for what I'm going to show you. But go on, then. You caught me off guard. OK, go on. Go downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. So you use the lift. Do you want me to get the lift back up? Yeah. We'll get the stuff that you need first. Yeah. Right. Got it. Okay. Got it. Here he comes. Oh. Oh, there you go. Well, it gives you that little bit of judder right at the end. A little bit of a judder. You see what kind of a show it's going to be. Uh, hi to Pat as well. He says good morning from New Jersey. Keep the comments coming in. Uh, let us know if you saw the show this morning. Um, let us know what you want to see off this show. Quick one from me first up. Fantastic deal on the um, 12 by 12 uh, glittering gold cardstock. Details coming up for you here, but I can tell you that this is a 50% saving. I hope it is. Yes, it is. Wow. I've, ri I've written down, well, I've written down all, I've been very good today. I've written down all my savings. Half price. That as well, let me just say, with the platinum discount, which the majority of you get, because the majority of you are, I think the lowest price I've ever seen this pad for. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. $7.99 or $9.19. Um, obviously, we've got the silver, we've got the rose gold available for you as well. These are, these are always super popular, are they not? And I love the fact that you've got that mixture of that um, beautiful pearl effect cardstock, double-sided, to go alongside the beautiful glitter cardstock that we've got in here as well. Um, and I know I would say this because, you know, I'm a crafter's companion man, but um, the, the, our glitter cardstock is the best in the business because you get all of the um, glitter, all of the sheen, all of the shine, but it's all encapsulated for you, so it's not going to get all over the place. Uh, no fuss and no faff here. I always think these um, pads as well, Craig, particularly good for uh, making boxes because you've got the two contrasts there, haven't you, and the glitter and then that beautiful um, pearl cardstock. Yeah, for sure. If you do want that contrast when it comes to box making, you know, you could either or for the yeah. lid or the base. You know, you could have the shedless glitter gold for the base and mm. the lid if you want to, of course. But, you know, having that option, so if you want to have that shimmer pearl as the base, the glitter as the lid, you can do that or vice versa. But it just ties it in really, really well. Plus, if you do do that, you can then, of course, uh, charge. I know not everyone make to sell, but if you do, then you can always charge, you know, an extra That's it. 50p pound or so. Yeah. Wasn't uh, that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I was you being beat serious me to as it. well. Yeah, you beat me to it. Uh, 50p <laughs> and a pound. £7.99. £7.99 or £9.99. The boys nine, are back. <laughs> Oh no, oh dear. It was an, uh, such an ever professional show this morning. Wasn't it so professional? It's like a proper magazine That's show. That's what you this get with Lily. Yeah. Professionalism. <laughs> creative professionalism. Yeah. Easy for Me, you'll get creative now if you just don't get professionalism. That's it. And by the way, for, and for all of you that go, oh, you know, Ben is always mucking about. It's, and I said this the other day, and he wasn't, it's usually him. He usually, because he, he comes across, he comes across all sweetness and light, but you don't know what he's like. You don't know what he's like, especially off, off, off the camera. You're just cruel to me. No. So he's doing it again now. He's doing it again, so you go, I've done oh, nothing, but he's be doing kind again. to you. He's doing it again. So you were like, and oh. as soon as we go off air, no. You're just, you're just nasty. <gasps> you're cruel. How? 
Show us your next thing, for goodness sake. <laughs> you thought, that's good. Maybe you want to use it to die cut with something. Oh, yes. We've got our cross-stitch square die set. Now, within this one, you're going to get the three dies. But what you are going to get is, all the way around, you're going to get, like, a deboss of a crisscross or a cross-stitch. Now, if you are someone that likes to do your cross-stitching, this is a beautiful die set for you to frame your work. Or, of course, you can just use it as frame dies, use it as apertures, use it for, of course, shakers, absolutely perfect, of course. But then maybe you want to start to raise that level up. Maybe it's going to start to be built up on foam pads to a bit like a pyramid. Funny enough, pyramid, favourite game, gladiators, back on this Saturday. Gladiators! Do you feel the power? Are they keeping the same theme tune? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Nice. Yep. So uh, I did, Nicola. Yes, Nicola is saying, did I hear the Gladiators theme tune when I was there watching it being filmed? I absolutely did. Yeah, really, really, really looking forward to it. Do they I... um, still do Gladiators? You will go, go on my... Contender first. Oh, yeah. Contenders. Contender. You will go, get it right, on my, my first, first whistle. whistle. Yeah. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Hang on a minute. Is anyone else putting two and two together here? Right? The bloke that did that in the original series, the Scottish, mm -hmm. new series, probably using a different bloke, want to keep the same element mm -hmm. of the original. He's a presenter, he's Scottish, I wonder whether or not he's keeping something under his hat, because why else would he have been there? Is there anything you want to tell us? Tune in on Saturday. So with this die set, all How cool the was different that? things that you can do yeah. when it comes to this die set, BBC One, 5.30ish, I think it is. That, don't make out that you don't know. You know. You know what it is. What time is your first appearance on the show? When you go, contenders, ready! Well, you need a referee right from the very first episode, don't you? Yeah, that's what I mean. And here's the other thing. Massive fan of the wrestling WWE. Got all the merchandise. You're not telling me he hasn't got a referee's top somewhere in his wardrobe. I'm putting it all together. I and a whistle. Actually. I do, actually. Yes, it's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I do. Tune in, UK viewers. What time is it? 5.30 Saturday, BBC One. And Craig makes player. his big debut on primetime TV. Yeah, well, I, I, will, I do keep saying this. In the UK, if you are out of the UK, if you were a fan of the original Gladiators, you're going to love this one as well. Right, so yes, our element <laughs> nest and dies. This is our cross stitch. You're welcome, nest BBC and One. How did it get from <laughs> cross stitch nest and dies to eye player and gla Gladiators on Saturday at half past five? Element Ness and Dies. These ones here, as I said here, now these are going to be good for framing, yes, your projects, framing your cards, framing your sentiment, giving you that aperture if you want that aperture in the middle. What I also like with these is if you actually cut all three of these together, what you also get is that thinner framework all the way around, including that little square there in the middle, because these dies cut all the way around. So the fact that you're getting these for £3.89 or $5.99, it's a saving of 70% with an essential. This is absolutely essential for you to have within your crafty stash. As I said beforehand, if you do know someone, or maybe you do like to do a little bit of cross-stitching yourself, great to then make your cards to work with a cross-stitched image because you've got that deboss or emboss, depending on which way you have the die cut, all the way around as well. You can do a little bit of letter press technique, of course, because those little crisscross don't cut, they emboss, so you can start to add your inks as well. Even better, though, if you are platinum, comes down to £3.11. That, that has, I don't know the cost of metal nowadays when it comes to manufacturing, but I'm going to tell you, that's got to be over £3 worth of metal, because as you can see, it's pretty much solid metal. Mm. Pretty much solid metal. So your platinum price, £3.11 or $4.79. Also a good one to use on the foil press as well, if you've got it. If you're humming and hawing, I would say get it. I use mine a lot, and I know that you would as well. Uh, hi to uh, Christy Mahoney on Facebook, who says, We believe Craig, lol. And Sam McDonald's on Facebook says, Oh, I do know what he's like, lol. Mm. That's you, that is. Yeah. Mm. I had to sign a DNA. DNA? No. A DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been the other one, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, the medical one, let's just say. DN. A. R. <laughs> oh, DNR. <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, hi, Ben and Craig, says Janice. Hi. Uh, looking for inspiration. Uh, we got, I'll tell you what, plenty of inspiration. Go back and watch Lily earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously a bit more of a salesy show, but we've got loads of inspiration coming up later on we in Monday do. Makers. Promise. Um, hi to Pat, who's joined us from New Jersey. And also, hi to um, Sam, who says, I got to meet Wolf and Jet from the original <gasps> Gladiators. I am so jealous. Mm -hmm. Jet was my favourite, although I do quite like Dynamite from this series. Dynamite? Ah, oh, yeah. Because, of course, we haven't met them yet, have we? No, no, neither have I. Ah. Uh, he has. You've gone... You, you've been like, come on, Dynamite, you're on. Come on, you've got to get on, you're on the... I'm going to chase you up the wall, Dynamite. Ch exactly. <laughs> <laughs> up the travelator. Up the travelator. Through the, uh, the gauntlet. They're still doing the gauntlet. Uh, go, get... Oh! Hang tough. Oh, can I just quickly say, before I get to be quiet yeah we've got because this year because it's twi well 2023 when it was filmed they used drones and fire in that nice. so they had them all lined up in the gauntlet they had the fire going and then had the drones going in and out up and down it's going to be awesome do they still do hang tough uh, they didn't do it when i was there but they do do it mm. he's making out that he doesn't actually know too much about it but obviously craig you'll see him saturday night as the new referee on gladiators what has fassel wassel <laughs> <laughs> My fistle was on. Yeah. Do you remember that from Lo Family Loch Ness? Family Ness? No. McToot blows on his bagpipe while Otis and Angus watch the ships come floating across the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Look up Family Ness on your phone now and play the theatre. It's funny. Can I do it on the watch Wi Fi? Yeah, oh yeah, it's funny. Uh, yeah, it's it was a cartoon. Right, yeah. It was a cartoon about a, cartoon. a family of Loch Ness monsters. And they used to blow on their fassle wassle <laughs> to get the monsters to come out. Family Ness. Yeah. Anyway, um, three pound at the level. What a joke price that is. I tell you what else is a joke price. This next item, the illustrators. This is your uh, 36 piece color essentials collection. What is that the price? Yeah, I know. It's, it is. Look, I'm not going to make out and go, oh, I've never seen that price before. I have seen that price before. I have seen this price before. It's one that we do on occasions, right? One that you kind of feel is going to be um, kept for big Sara uh, cartload shows, you know, big Sara clearance shows, uh, those kind of things, big sales shows, right? Not on a random Monday on a craft fault no. should we be doing a deal like this. Don't know how it's snuck in under the radar, but it is your um, Colour Essentials collection of our illustrators. Should be $74.99 or $119.99. Uh, today's price, $29.99 or $41.99. Look at your platinum price. And also, if you're brand new to us today as well, this is the price that you'll be paying if you sign up to Club Inspire. Um, when you say we need to be fairly quick, Nicola, is that because stock's low or oh, we do have low stock here? Let me show you all the colours that you're going to be getting here. Uh, as far as your illustrators are concerned, these really are top quality, premium artist quality pens, which have got that um, double-ended feature. You've got your ultra fine nib one end, and then you've got that gorgeous Japanese brush nib the other. So absolutely brilliant for practicing that flicking technique, uh, for getting more detail when it comes to things like your hair, uh, when it comes to things like if you're doing portraits with these or foliage or fur, these are absolutely brilliant. I'll show you the different nibs that you're gonna get in just a second here. But what I love particularly about this collection is, um, so say if you are currently using your or, um, your tri-blend pens, for example, first up, and you've obviously got the, the three color blend within one pen there, and you're used to your light, your mediums, and your darks. This is a brilliant set, because that's what we've done for you across the 36 pens here. As you can see on the color chart that you've got, you've got all of these different colors. These are all individual pens. Um, but you've got the light, the medium, and the dark, so it allows you to do your blending, which you might have learned with your tri-blends, um, really nice and easily and nice and simply, uh, and you're getting all of those in there. And the cost, as Sarah always describes this as well, is all to do with the, um, the nib that you're getting here, that Japanese brush nib, because um, the, the, the ink is... The I'm sorry. The ink, you'll see why I'm laughing in just a second. The ink is the same um, across... None of these are open, are they, of course? Can you grab one and show it over there, Craig? The, here we go. On. The ink is the same across... That was some power. You threw that with a bit of, uh, bit of venom. Pizzazz. It's not. The <laughs> it's not the word I would would use. Venom is the word that I would use. Uh, yeah, you threw that with a lot of pizzazz. But as you can see, you've got your ultra fine nib one end, 
Uh, this end here is that Japanese There's brush. No thing. business like show. <laughs> like no business I know. Um, and that that's the cost. That is um, what you're going to be paying for here to give you that um, professional uh, quality finish when it comes to um, getting that perfect, uh, perfect um, design when you're colouring. He's absolutely thrown me. Uh, you're getting 36 colours across this collection. £23.99 is your platinum price on this. $33.59. Listen. Did you see? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a throw, what a catch. What a good catch. Did, did you say about, like, just even the cost of the nib? Yeah. Did you say that, sorry? Yeah, that's what I was... He was too busy chucking pens at me. Go yeah, on. just the cost of the nib alone, basically. Yeah. If you've never tried these before, today is the day to pick these up, try them, get them home and love them. If you've already got these at this sort of price, I mean, you're going to be stocking up because they're going to run out eventually is the bad news. The good news is you can save £45 or $78 on them today. Um, stock up, probably the deal of the show, just putting that out there. Uh, but we've got plenty. I know we've only done four, but this is one of the best deals that we've got. Um, go quickly. Uh, Hannah says, thank you, Hannah. I remember the thistle whistle. I wouldn't have been able to remember the theme, though. Um, I'll, I'll show him after the show. You'd love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, family Ness. Sorry, can I just go back to the illustrators with yeah. their bed? Mm -hmm. Because in, in the UK, they can RRP about 279 a pen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to do maths now, aren't you? So I've just worked it out. Oh, yes. So if you, if you were to get them individually at 36, you'd be £100.44 pence for the th six of them. If you'd paid two pound seventy nine RRP, that's what you would be. But look at your price, and that's, that's two seventy nine for one. Yeah. Yeah. Times thirty six, so it'd yeah. be a hundred pound forty four pence. So even at seventy four ninety nine, you were getting a deal. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Good math, eh? Uh, really good, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thanks what's for, that? Um, what's that little thing on the side there? My calculator. No, 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 no. By the bag. That. Oh, that! Mm. Oh, where did that come from? What is that? That's my Hogmanay Hero Award that I got when I was at Hobby Maker. Oh. On, funny enough, Hogmanay. What, what, what did you, why did you get that? Because I'm, I'm a Hogmanay Hero. That's really cute, isn't it, that little award? Yeah. Yeah, it's really... Yeah, but... Can <laughs> you put... Funny you should say that. Oh! Oh, what have you got in there? That's mango and peach water. I wasn't expecting that. You've got some, you need to... Good if you like a little tequila or something like that as well. <laughs> well, at least I can store mine in here. <laughs> and it fits. Storage. We always need storage, don't we? We do. This is another exceptional deal here. $19.99 or $22.82. Now, when it comes to the storage, you'll have seen Debbie Robinson's in the past where you can store so, so much. I always like to, I know we've got, of course, our uh, cheetah leopard print now as well, but I always think of this as our uh, crafter's companion kind of company floral logoed colour. This is the grey and the purple with all of that floral all the way round. So you have got your zip pocket on one side there. As we go around the other side, you've got your open pockets. You've got your triple one and then you've got another double one there as well. The stitching is incredible. It is wipeable. What you've also then got as well is the most incredibly strong but comfortable handles as well. So you can see kind of like the loop class that you've got all the way around. You've You've then got all of these that are riveted in as well so that ain't going to go anywhere but then it's about the inside as well you can see there that you have got your five compartments but it could be that you want four instead that you want two longer ones and then two medium ones or it could be that you do just want to have your three longer ones might be you want a medium and a small by taking that out or it could be that you can take all of that out 
and that will store your Gemini Junior. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, do you want me to not. prove that? Yes, I do. Do you want me to prove that? Yes, Let's please. Let's get a Junior here. Let's get the Junior. Now, not only will it store your Junior, wow. but you'll also be able to store your plates in there as well. And when I say store, I mean, you know, if you're taking it out and about, maybe craft club or craft crops, or if you are going in the caravan, you've got electric and all that, then, of course, you're going to be able to put your plates in that as well. If you wanted to, you could put it on its side, and then you're going to get some of your card stock, some of your dies in there as well. And then when it comes to your power pack, you'll be able to put your, or your power lead, you can always put that in the side. Yeah. There, where you've got that zip as well so it's functional and you've got options lots and lots of options so whether you are just going to be using it as a way to transport or maybe store your junior or maybe you just want to then store lots and lots and lots in there maybe you then want to come along with the compartments which are all on hook and loop so you can just take them in and then you can then divide them up if you want to it's entirely up to yourself but it's about that versatility of the storage the incredible structure and strength that you've got as well but then the compartments too wipeable inside as well so i wouldn't say it's stain proof so if maybe you had some alcohol inks or that and maybe some of them were leaking like that with the little tubs or that you'll be able to wipe it up it may stain the inside but it's wipeable it's shower proof as well so you've got the strong bottom as well that you can see here so incredibly strong incredibly sturdy you've seen that when it comes to the junior as well just to show you on that one there because although that I had it flat but if I put the junior in there you can see that even the bottom <coughs> it doesn't buckle it doesn't bend it's got that strength there as well so to get that for $19.99 or $22.82 you're saving £15 for you guys stateside you're saving $17.13 if you're platinum that comes down of course $15.99 for you guys stateside $18.26 it is there for you guys Central Europe you just need to go to .eu as well you maybe already got one Ben maybe maybe you don't even have to do it for your crafts maybe mm -hmm. you want you know I've got that covered under the sink where I've got all I believe it or not I do do housework I do do housework so you know underneath there maybe you want to take the polishes <laughs> lotions and, and potions like that. that's it yeah 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 what are you up to Victoria what's what Victoria doing down there you don't get anything no nothing gets past me and Ben here what are you we doing down there anyone you want to go you've got it in your hand there Victoria do you need do you need a glue stick do you need some storage <laughs> $15.99, please. Yes, Victoria from our social there. Ah. Just pension stuff. Um, so there you go, good one. I said the other I mean, that one potentially may be too nice for it, but um, gardening as well, carrying in like your little trowels and your little yeah. um, garden forks. If you do get soil lord or that inside, again, tip it out, wipeable. Yeah. Um, you know, I know Daisy likes horses, I know Laura does as well. Little tack bag. Can, yes. Not a tack bag, but yeah. Yeah, tack, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you could put the horse's tack in there if you want. Yeah. You could do, yeah. That mm -hmm. is a shout, that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be for crafting. It doesn't have to be for crafting. Crafting, she said. cleaning, gardening. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Horsing whatever you need. around. Mm -hmm. mm. Whatever you want. Whatever, whatever you, you need. need. Whatever you like, you pay your money, you take your choice. <laughs> Lol, Ben, you and Craig are too funny today, says Carletta Morris. If, uh, we should have got Annika back, shouldn't we? Because then we could have had more singing in between. Instead of doing the breaks, we could have just got Annika singing something from like, yeah, you know... I can't wait to hear her. Labo M or something. I've put a little clip of um, her doing a bit of singing on my um, socials. Oh, I don't wanna... do social. Oh, no, you don't, do you? Can you try and do a bit more social? Because I never see you on there. But you can try and that little bit. Try and do a little bit, Craig, because you know what? Some people do make an effort when it comes to social. If you could just now and again post something... Maybe. I might be able to look into it. It could be my New Year's resolution. Yeah. Do a little bit more social. Yeah. If you, do, do you even know your logins? My log... Logins. Oh, my login. You need the password as well. It's probably Thistle Whistle 2000 or something. That's a good one, yeah. What about my login from a WWE network? No, I have not borrowed that for uh, a Royal Rumble at the end of the month. Oh, I'm going around Craig's house as well in the month to go and watch the Elimination Chamber. chamber. Mm -hmm. Definitely doing that. Got to park run first and then come to yours next after. month. Oh, is that next month, February? February. Yeah. Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Live. Because it's in Australia. Australia, which means, and I love you guys stateside, we don't have to wait till 1 a.m. in the morning and stay up and watch it. We get it at 11 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Is The Rock going to be there? Is yeah. he going to be at the Elimination Chamber? He'll be there, isn't he? I think so. Uh, Michelle says, mango and peach water. I must try. It's actually quite tasty, to be fair. I just wasn't expecting it. Um, Stephanie says, I've just received that deluxe tote, and it's my second one. And Sarah Brown says, talking of Australia, 
Oh boy, you two are really too much. You flaming galahs, I love you both. I love you too, Sarah. And Betty Weaver says, I have two deluxe totes, one for mixed media, one for all my adhesives, and the third, haven't decided yet, but likely um, how, by the household planner slash menu slash shopping binders. They're very useful to have multiples, as, mm -hmm. as we've already discussed. Um, so at this price today, you might be thinking about getting another. Something else which you might want to pick up and grab. And by the way, if you're wanting storage as... Um, if you want a lot of storage, we've got up to 30% off across storage on the website. Not just the storage items that we're featuring in this show. If you go to the homepage of um, craftscompanion.com.co.uk.eu, you'll see a little tab, click on that, and it will take you to a whole host of different storage solutions. This is just a case in point, Yasara Buddy Bag, one of the most popular buddy bags because it stores um, all of your longer pens. So we're talking about, in this case, your tri-blends, tri-blend brush uh, pens, those longer pens, right, that aren't going to fit into your um, uh, your smaller buddy bags, fit in here with absolute ease. Uh, once again, genius for the fact that these are see-through, so you know exactly what is in them. You've got that um, hardened plastic case on the inside as well, keeping everything nice and protected. And then you've got the um, the three little uh, loops here as far as the Velcro is concerned, so you can hook all of that back um, to keep that out of the way. And then you can dispense your pens as you need them. I think, I always forget the number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Does this hold, it holds over 20, doesn't it? 25? I know I can fit in more than I've got now, but I'm just, my hand does fit in it. When did I last see that? Was that Friday? <laughs> and I've got a big hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, I mean, that's probably going to fit in another. You could probably get another row in there. I'm going to say over 25 in there easily. Um, but listen, if you need storage for your uh, longer pens, things like your tri-blends, pick this one up. Great way to keep them all together. And, and of course, an absolutely fantastic way to transport them. If you are going um, to see some friends or you're going away, uh, you want a, a nice, easy way to transport your pens. This is definitely the way to do it for three pounds and change today if you're platinum or five dollars 32 if you're shopping in the us and you're a platinum member as i've said if it's storage you're after do check out the website 30 percent off a selection of items from um, fab files to more buddy bags to more totes on there um I think the hang and hold is on there as well, which I believe we've got coming up for you um, a little bit later on as well. But it's absolutely worth having a little bit of a sneaky peek, uh, picking up all of those deals. Just to say as well, this show, you've noticed the prices are smashed down low. I think I made a mental note a little bit earlier on. In this Craft Vault show, everything that we're bringing you is under 50. Um, and as you've seen so far, I think pretty much everything we've brought to you has been under 30. So some really great deals to be had. You know, a few bucks, a few pounds here and there. Stock up, take advantage of these deals. Do not miss out. This next deal that Craig has got, I know I had that amazing deal on the illustrators, which was one of the deals of the show. This next one is right up there as well on one of our... Um, one of our treat boxes. What well, is the treat box die, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. This one being the, the roll-up treat one. So there's many ways, let's say there's many ways. There's three main ways you can use it anyway. Singly, double, or then you get a template as well that you can start to roll it out. So this is what you're getting, 22 elements in total here. Now you've got 21 that are dies, sorry, 20 that are dies, and then two which are your templates here. Mm. So you can see the three ways here. You might think of other ways as well. Well, there is other ways you can do them side by side if you want to as well so you've got your three different ways here but this is everything that you are getting now you do get a step by step but of course us at crafters tv go on our youtube crafters tv youtube and you're going to be able to find lots and lots and lots of tutorials with these they were originally part of a triple set but you'll be able to see demos with these ones here but really simple to put together what you've then got is all of the decorative components as well you might have additional dies you might find that you've got some smaller dies that may be coming within a launch a week today with myself and Ben, although what? there is a specific purpose and concept to that launch, what? what you get with it will be nice to decorate other things. However, that's next week. When it comes to this one here, you can use the dies to decorate your treat box, your roll-up treat box here. But for this one, I thought, well, I'll just do it. Let's just run it through because the actual worker die itself, you will need an A4 Gemini or an A4 die cutting machine to use the actual worker die here. But then these are all of the decorative embellishment dies as well that you've got included. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it in two 
white card just okay. to show you here. And what I would say with this is, I, well, I say not ideally, but for this, because it's a simplistic shape die fitting, you, do, you could get away with not having the magnetic shim. You know what Debbie's like, Debbie Robinson. You know, I try and follow her lead now where it comes to not always needing the magnetic shim because mm. you don't always need that extra pressure. So you wouldn't need the magnetic shim for this. The reason I'm putting it in is because there is your embossed line details, your score lines. So by putting in that magnetic shim, that's just going to enhance those score lines that little bit more. But once you die cut it, it really is simple just to form it together. You're going to get those score lines there included. I would die cut it. Me personally, I would decorate it, then start to assemble it. If you're new to anything like this and you hear cracking, whether it's a Gemini or other branded die cut machine, don't worry. It is absolutely safe. It's because it's pretty much straight metal going into plastic. So that is normal. The more that you have wear and tear on your plates, the less that that will happen, the less that you'll hear that. But by bringing in your actual die cut here, we can see we've got all of these score yeah. lines. So by keeping in that magnetic shim, it's just enhancing those score lines. And usually, like most die cuts that have a score line, I tend to do it by hand to start with. So you've got all your glue tabs here as well, all the way round, and then you can just start to assemble them, bringing them together. And then what you've also got, so that one there, so if we go that way into here, and I'm going to adhere this together in a moment, but you can see if I pop it that way from up above, you've got the way that it starts to work, work its way around. It starts to then form together there. So you can either do it the other way as well, if you want to. So you've got a couple of different ways which you want it to form it together. When it comes to this one here, if I bring it in that way here, so I'm going to form that way, just to show you different ways you can start to form it. Like I say, I'm just doing it, holding it before I start to glue it in. This way here, you can see, see how you've got that bit that just sticks up mm. at the back there? That is something that you would follow on with the instructions where you can see there it gives you that back in. But by giving you that back in there, what you're able to start doing is creating that rollout with the template that you get included there. And it actually shows you just here. So there's that one there that I've got. So if I bring it to the side, you've got the back there. By doing four of them with the template and you just set them side by side. So let's bring in my tape runner here. So I'm going to come in with these ones here. What's the best GSM to use with this? Because Janice is just saying she ordered this yesterday. Um, so is there a preferred weight of cardstock this works best with? So I would say anything construction, you can, anything over 250 GSM. I personally, Ben, would say anything over 280 GSM. Okay. If you do do less, you can absolutely do that, but what you want to do is make sure that you add mats and layers. So if you're doing a lighter cardstock, then make sure that you add and build mats and layers on top of it, because uh, that's okay. going to then create structure and strength. However, saying that, I would say anything over, yes, anything over 250, but ideally, I would say anything over your 280 GSM and okay. beyond. And then that can just fall, fold into there. You've got your little tab there that folds it in, and then that's the way one of them looks. And then if you do four of them, you can start to build them together. You do have your templates inside as well, which we've got these two here. And in actual fact, there's actually the fourth way, because the fourth way, if I turn, let's bring in this package in, by using that template there, that creates our outer wrap. So then that creates an outer wrap for it to just slide in and out. So to get all those possibilities, for that price there, 22 elements, 20 dies, and then you've got your two templates as well, $9.99 or $10.99. You've got that at your platinum price of $7.99 or $8.79, plus all of that education as well to go back to. So when it comes to our YouTube channel, go back. You can then search, of course, just the actual title in that search, and you'll find lots of ideas, lots of inspiration. Remember, we've also got our crafters companion groups as well that people post their makes in as well, Ben. Um, hi to Karen Well, sorry says I've got this treat box set, but I have not 
used it yet. Well, maybe today's the day. Now you've seen uh, Craig have a little play with that. Uh, love the demonstration, says Lois. Thank you, Lois. Uh, Janice Watson's excited because her Gemini 2 arrived today. Whoop, whoop. Um, and hi to Lisa P, who says, can we have a happy birthday to Elvis today? Would have been Elvis's birthday, apparently. Um, well, happy birthday. Oh, oh. Happy birthday. What is your favourite Elvis song, asks Lisa P. Um, favourite so, Elvis song. So I don't listen to Elvis a lot. No. But I do like, um, what's, what's the title? Okay. Falling in Luck Can't Help. I like That's it. Home, that love. one. I do like that one. And thing has just come out in the cinema. Priscilla. I want to see that. Have you seen Elvis? Oh, it's brilliant. I've not seen that yet. So good. Considering coming from someone that, you know, it's not a massive appreciate Elvis his fan. music, but yeah. I'm not a big Elvis fan, mm. I was gripped and I really want to see Priscilla. Tom Hanks is in the Elvis movie, isn't he? Yes, he is. The As Colonel. The Colonel, yeah. I like a bit of Hound Dog. You ain't nothing but a Hound Dog. Not that. And also, um, the rest. Blue Suede Shoes. One for the money, two for the show. Yeah, very good. Oh, Unchained Melody, oh, uh, Nicola likes. Oh, my love. And um, the American love. Trilogy. That's when he sings, glory, glory, hallelujah, isn't it? That one. Yeah, it's class. Oh, I'll tell you what else I like. I, I can't think of um, how it goes on my head, but the hunker, 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 born in love. <laughs> oh, one. yeah, yeah. Burn Is it love. called Burn in Love? Lord of me, the temperature keeps getting higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Teddy Bear's a good one. What's that? It's, um... Love and Teddy Bear. Wrap my arms around the I love you everywhere. Oh, let me be your Teddy Bear. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah, the way you finished that there, yeah. I love it. See, I, I used to like, and I don't know if in the US you'll know him, but I used to love Shaking Stevens. Oh, yeah. Who, Merry Christmas. Everyone. Everyone. He had, other, he had many other hits, but he was like an 80s version of oh. Elvis, and he actually played Elvis Presley in the West End, hence why he got, because he used to do all the moves and stuff like that. Shaky. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Really? He'd have been 89 today, really? says our Rachel. Um, what a talent he was. What a talent. I must watch that movie. If you said yes, it's good. Yes, you must do. Also, David, it would have yeah, been David jump, Bowie's birthday. Magic jump, magic jump, magic jump, labyrinth. Yeah. How old would Bowie have been today? I mean, he, 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 he left us very, very early, didn't he? I want to say he, he was did, only in his... yeah. 2016. He was only in his late 50s, I think, wasn't he? Or 60s. He wasn't that old. Mm. We'll have to bear with. Um, let us know, though. Favourite Elvis songs? Favourite Bowie songs? Two geniuses right there, as far as music is concerned. Um, quick one before we have a break. The uh, scissors, nine inch scissors, what a snip these are today, excuse the pun, $7.99 for these, or $12.49. These are the biggest of the um, scissors that we do, the ones that you guys absolutely love, um, the ones which just work, as our um, Debbie Fisher would say. What's so brilliant about these, of course, is they're, they're ergonomically designed, so they're really nice to hold, but they, as Sam said, to say, they cut like an absolute dream, and I can say from experience, that I haven't got the nine inch ones, I've got a couple of pairs of the six inch at home. Right. And when you think to yourself, well, scissors are just scissors, right? And I used to think that. I've got a pair of scissors, which we never use now, in the kitchen drawer at home. And I thought, well, these are just fine. These cut through everything. What, you won't know how good these are until you've actually got, you won't realize how bad the scissors that you have got now are until you get a pair of these home, because they are just unbelievable, um, particularly the nine inch ones, because um, you've got the uh, me measurement built in there for you as well for accurate cutting. You know, if you're wanting to um, cut specifically into your cardstock, you've got that three inch measuring um, detail on there for you. Japanese stainless steel blades as well. So you've got the top notch quality when it comes to the metal that these are made out of. And these are non-stick as well. No word of a lie. If, if you've got scissors at home, probably you've tried to, um, you know, cut through like um, a card which has got like adhesive backing on it or things like foam pads and then your scissors get all clogged and get all gunked up. These are incredible for that and cut through like a dream. And they're also brilliant if you want to go, I know normally we wouldn't say this, but if you want to go from like cutting your paper to like cutting your fabric, mm -hmm. you can do that with these scissors. And normally we would never say that yeah. about scissors. You'd normally have your fabric scissors and your paper scissors, wouldn't you? you? You would. Don't get me wrong, I still do that because it's habit. It's habit. Yeah. But absolutely, you can't just have that one pair of scissors and use them for both. I'm just shocked that you've got another pair. 
You know what you are? What? You're a traitor. <gasps> Talking about traitors. Talking about traitors. <laughs> uh, Nicola, I've got Craig on our little uh, little traitors group. Yeah. It's hooked. It's so good. Hooked. Yeah. Big time. They were mm -hmm. visiting mum and family and friends. They dipped into one episode and watched all three that had been put on iPlayer. Hooked. And now we've got to wait till three. Wednesday for the next episode to drop. I messaged Ben going to episode three. I messaged Leanne saying episode three. Mm hmm. So good. Who's watching it here in the UK? Let us know. It's so good. If, if you're not yet watching it, get watching it. There is a US version as well, which is on Peacock, I'm just being told in my ear. Alan Cummins, who's from my hometown. Yes. Who was in the James Bond movie. And the Spice World. Spice World movie. Ah. Well, there you go, see. Apparently. We're learning so much today. Uh, hit me up with the scissor chat. We're asking for lots. I know. Uh, what's your favourite Elvis song? What's your favourite Bowie song? Are you watching Traitors? Do you like the scissors? Hit us up with the scissor chat. I know you will. Seven ninety nine or twelve forty nine is your platinum price. Uh, quick as you can on those. Uh, keep the comments coming through. We're going to go for a short break. Get your baskets checked out. We'll come back with more great deals for you in about three or four minutes' time. Here at Crafty TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers, but really, they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Teresa's in with us on YouTube saying, uh, Hi, Ben and Craig. I'm really liking the haircut, Craig. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went haircut. short. Went short, had a, had a little trim mm. there and there. Ah, you look very smart. Mm. You're very young. Yeah. 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 And tanned. And tanned. Sometimes when you go to Jamaica. <laughs> Just went to Jamaica. He's got his private jet. Yeah. About our yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. um, Stephanie Barnett says, I cannot wait for the US version of Traitors. There is one series already, right? Yes. No, yeah, it's, oh, it's on. Hmm. If you're in the US, though, you probably won't watch it on Peacock, I think. Oh, if I want to watch it. Well, I've got, I don't want to watch it because I'm already watching R. I might come back to it. Okay, when I run out, I will. Um, Rosalind says, favourite Elvis song, Can't Help Falling in Love. It's a great tune. Uh, Favourite Bowie song, Let's Dance. Let's, Let's dance. dance. Put yeah. on your red shoes and dance the blues. That song as well in the labyrinth towards the end when they're walking the staircases and it's all in, up and down. And I like, really need to watch that movie again. Does he, sing, he sings a lot in that movie, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does, yeah. yeah. Jump, magic jump, magic jump, magic jump, yeah. Mm. Hello. Did you just say hello? No, I said hello, but that's close enough. That's the little worm, it's isn't it? It's Hoggle! Hoggle! Oh, yeah, the little, yeah. The little troll thing! Nero! And that's the big... Mm -hmm. I remember Labyrinth more for the fact that around the time that movie came out, do you remember when they used to put toys in cereal packets? They had all the little plastic figures in the cereal. Oh, those were the days. Yeah, those were the days. Mm. My yeah. favourite time was when they put the um, Spokey Dokies in yeah. cereal packets. Do you remember Spokey Dokies? Yeah. You put them on the spokes of your bicycle wheel and they'd make a, like yeah. a rattling noise as your wheel went around. I remember when walkers randomly would put a five pound note in your bags of crisps. Did they actually? Yeah. Did you find one? I think I did once, yeah. Oh, really? And then some of the walkers again put pogs. Remember the pogs? Pogs. Little circular discs. Oh, and yeah. then you would throw a heavy, a heavy disc to yeah. try and knock them over. Yes. Yeah, and you and the pogs. I lost my favourite, well, it was WWF at the time, Pog. Those were the days, weren't they? Those were the days. Not a care in the world. No. We used to look forward to our cereal in the morning. Anyway, uh, Vanessa says, I love my scissors. I have all of the sizes that are made and the large ones. I have three of them. That is how much I love them. Uh, Trish Lestelle says, I love my CC scissors. And to keep my desk vac company, the large set has googly eyes too. Picture, please. Picture, please. Um, We've got the rock, don't we? Huh? We've got the rock. Oh yeah, we have. Have you seen? He's drawn a, he's drawn an eyebrow. The vacuum, the vacuum's eyebrow. Mm, look at that. What are you going to be vacuuming up with that? <laughs> I know you're it doesn't matter what you're going to be vacuuming <laughs> up with that. The vac says, know your role and shut your mouth. That's so good. Yeah. The people's eyebrow. Anyway, thank you, uh, Vernon. Keep the comments coming through. You have got a deal over that side of the studio, and I do believe it is on the acrylic paint markers. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Our acrylic markers. We've got gold, silver, black, and white here. So these ones being your acrylic markers, which go on an absolute abundance of materials and mm. surfaces because they are acrylic markers. Spectrum Noir, now when it comes to the four of these, you're going to get all four of them for $4.99 or $6.89. You've got a saving of over 35%, but your platinum price comes down to $3.99 or $5.49. So whether it's your card, whether it's your paper, whether it's vellum, whether it's acetate, whether it's wood, whether it's stones, pottery, anything like that, you can come along, you can then start to do little doodles when it comes 
comes to the designs, the layouts. You know, one of the key times that these sorts of pens were used were, of course, during uh, towards the, the start of COVID, wasn't it? When you would doodle on the stones and then you would yeah, leave them. Yeah, little positivity stones. Up, the positivity stones, absolutely. But yeah, if you've got your plot pants or plot pot pants. <laughs> I genuinely thought you said if you've got your hot pants then for a second. <laughs> if you've got... You could put them on your hot pants. You, you could. <laughs> if you wanted to. You could if you've got your... Put them on yours, a love machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Just write a love machine. Ay, ay, ay. So you've got your acrylic paint markers. Now, when it comes to the white ones, even the silver ones, and the dark ones, you can do it so you've got your preserving your highlight, you can have your highlight lines. If you want more of those darker lines, darker shadows, you can then, of course, come along and use the black, use the gold as well if you want to. But four ninety nine or six dollars eighty six, you've got a saving of over thirty five percent. Platinum price is three ninety nine or five dollars forty nine. Remember, it's from Spectrum Noir. You know Spectrum Noir now from Leanne and the team. It's headed up by Leanne at the absolute best of the best when it comes to colour and mediums as well. If we do have a look at these ones again before the end of the show, I'll see if I can find something to have a little doodle on. Can you write my name on there? If you want. Let's come on over. You catch. No, solid gold, can't check it. <laughs> you could maybe write ben. on there. Yeah. Presentation lead of the year winner. It's not that big to fit all that in. Oh, wow. I could put your name. Yeah. It's like personal engraving. But then they've got it. <laughs> are you going to do it now or do you, are you going to do it now? Do it now if you want. Candy. Just yeah. write it neatly though. I always try and write neat. I can't use a ruler for that though, can I? No. What, what colours are in there, did you say, by the way? Is that uh, black, gold, silver. Okay. And white. Do you want, do you want, what one do you want? I don't mind. We'll, we'll try Maybe gold. Maybe gold to go with the gold. We'll do gold. Yeah. To go with your cheap gold. It's real gold, Craig. Is it? Yeah. Do you see how heavy that is? I'm trying to pick that up. It's, it's quite heavy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Real gold. Yeah. Le Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa. 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 I quite fancy watching that. Uh, Right. So you've given that a little shake to wake and then you just prime it, yeah? So yeah, so just giving it a shake, 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 shake bringing shake, it back shake. in and then just giving it a little bit of pump just to get that going mm -hmm. into here while Victoria puts the hot glue gun back. Just Thanks, Victoria. Here. Thanks, Victoria. And then let's, I'm going to go in, let's do the E to start with. So that gives me a central. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. So let's get that going. We need to get that flow and get that juicy. Let's work that in. Sorry if I put you under pressure here. I didn't, you didn't have to. Yeah, you yeah, didn't no, have to. That's okay. Make sure you write it neatly as well, yeah? Um, oh, whilst God. we're watching Craig, we can say hi to Margot, who says, go on, Ben, give us a laugh and sing some more. I love shaking Stevens also. Uh, Elvis songs, my favorite Elvis songs, Love Me Tender. Love me, Love me I'm going to do this Love after a bit because I'm not going to get it straight. Okay. I want to do it justice. Yeah, because okay. if I don't do it straight, it's going well, to be. Well, I tell you what, me. you can yeah, do it after the. Can I have it back, though? Yeah, of course you can. Don't pretend that that's your Hogmanay. What, did you, what was your thing? The Hogmanay Hottie or something? No, 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 that's a... <laughs> <gasps> um, Favourite Elvis songs, Love Me Tender, says Margot, and Suspicious Minds. Guys, I could one. What caught in the tramp? Uh, but in fairness, all his songs were amazing. What's that? I could be an Elvis impersonator, do you think? He's good at a lot of impressions. Who Michael McIntyre, <laughs> please do it. Please, 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 please do it. Are you going to do it? Mm, okay. Can I, right. We're supposed to be doing a live show here, aren't we? Yeah, but it's fine. We're all fret, right. Okay. Right, what do you want to say? Just what, what you tend to do. Okay, welcome to my big show. Spin the wheel. 
Michael McIntyre. Can you do that again with Billy Connolly? They're, 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 what, the polite Billy Connolly. I don't know if there is a polite Billy Connolly. But you can do it. OK. Uh... <laughs> Spin the wheel! Hey, a wee jobby! Uh... <laughs> it's all going on here, isn't it, eh? It is all going on. Welcome, if you have just joined us. Who on earth put us together on a, uh, a Monday mid-show in, <laughs> in the craft vault? Uh, thank you. It might not ever happen again after this show. Um, what, what a day, though. What a day. We are in the craft vault. We're having a bit of a laugh. Craig's in tears over there. Um, it's all about the deals, though, isn't it? We've got up to 75% off. We've already shown you uh, the glittering gold. We've shown you the nesting cross-stitch square ties, illustrators, Totes. We've shown you uh, the scissors, the roll-up treat box, um, Sarah buddy bag. So many great deals for you. All I can say to you is check the website. All the deals are there. And I know we've got lots in the show as far as storage is concerned. If, um, if storage you're after, 30% off selected storage items on the website. And says, behave, children. It's him, miss. It's him. Um, something else I want to show you is down here. Look, go. The Hang and Hold Organiser Collection. This is phenomenal. What a deal um, on a... Um Set of storage really here, which is going to create space for you. That's the best way um, that I can chat to you about this in the fact that, you know, if you have got shelves upon shelves of um, stuff stored away and you're running out of space, this creates space where there was none because what you get within this actual bundle is um, this bar, which is, I mean, remind yourself how long it is, Ben, 24 inches. I was going to say that. 20, I know it looks, 24 uh, inches uh, metal bar, which will go pretty much on things like your craft table, uh, things like your dining room table. You've got your little um, adjusters under here. So it's basically the clamp on this is going to clamp down um, to um, a small size. You can make it bigger as well. So whatever the size of your table, pretty much this is going to go on there for you. And then you're also going to get your four bins in there as well. Well, which is absolutely brilliant bins of different sizes as well so um, the four bins that you're going to get your supply bin here and they all just clip on by the way really simply you've got your little uh, metal hooks on the back there these will slot on to your um, hang and hold bar for you and then you've created that space your supply bin again we popped in here things like our tape pens we popped in one of our little Zyra machines little stamping platform that does come with uh, little material dividers which you can um, hook on using the, um, the hook and loop uh, tags that you've got inside there you're also going to get your basic bin as well same sort of thing here uh, the basic bin will just clip on for you a little bit slimmer but a nice sort of size for holding things like your um, paper pads we popped in there actually as well one of the tins of our Aquabend pencil so really perfect size for that and then the uh, last one on the end here is your tool bucket once again you've got dividers within that one to separate things up take them out if you want it's basically just a little um, hook and loop uh, tab once again which you can pop out but we popped in some of the uh, plates for our mini we've got some of our masket tapes and tools it's really really super handy and as I said what I love about this is it creates for you space where there wasn't any and if you haven't got um, like a specific craft room for example this is absolutely brilliant and no word of a lie if you were to come into the office here at uh, crafters tv towers you would see one of these at our liam's desk where he keeps all sorts of bits and pieces in um, it is just full of goodies to the side of him because he's got his desk there he's got loads of the uh, bits and pieces that you know he still needs to hand in his hang and hold and also just think about this as well as a brilliant bit of kit maybe for the garage say for example if your uh, partner is into diy for example absolutely get this for that have it on the workbench put all of the tools in there bits and pieces that they're working with perfect and i loved i think it was last time i was on with tiffany actually her suggestion of taking it with you on a picnic what a genius idea because you can clip it onto your um, bench wherever you're picnicking and just have your bits and pieces in there so you could have your cutlery in one couldn't you you could have your um, napkins in another you could have all of your condiments in another i love the idea um, and i think it just again kind of broadens the appeal of this brilliant system it's a great price today as well let's not just um, forget about that this is 70 pounds right it's a hundred dollars 39 pounds 19 if you're platinum $55.99 again if you've already got the um the hang and hold chat to us in the comments about it let everybody know why you love yours let us know what you use yours for if you use it for like a different idea fire some more ideas out for us as well uh, but there's just a few for you and again that price absolutely brilliant on our craft vault crazy deals uh, talking of crazy here's craig with some 
crazy glitter pens. You have got some crazy, crazy glitter pens. Crazy glitter pens here. So this is six pack of our glitter pens also from Spectrum Noir. Now when it comes to these, these are water based. So we'll do a little bit of colour in, in a moment, but cool. you're going to get the six of them here for $8.99 or $13.49. You're saving 25%, but then you're going to get them at a platinum price of $7.19 or $10.79. But then these ones you are getting neon yellow, neon violet, neon blue, neon pink, neon orange and neon green nice. when it comes to the six colours here. Now you've got a really nice strong firm nib when it comes to each of the pens here. So if you are wanting to use them to write your greeting cards, then of course that's going to be great for that. If you want to just go direct in and then colour, with them being water-based, you're going to want to use your watercolour card and your waterproof ink pad. And we are going to either go direct or of course, if you go direct, you can bleach the colour out or pull the colour out. You can decant onto your glass mat and pick it up with your paintbrush if you want to. But I've gone in with our rose. So this is from our romantic rose. This is what we've got coming up within Monday mm. Makers. I think Lily looked at these ones this morning. Or done Briefly, a demo this yes, morning. at the end of the show. So I'm going to go in with uh, the rose here. Just to show you, I've stamped it out, watercolour card and also our waterproof ink pad. And let's go in, let's go in with one of the pigs here. So either, Ben, you can go direct or pull the colour out, as I was saying. So we're going to give them a shake. Now, when you first get yours, your nibs will be white. So you just need to activate them. So you're going to give them a shake. And then once you've given them a shake, what you're going to do is you're going to go onto your glass mat or your surface and you're just going to keep pumping it up and down until that colour starts to come through. Once it starts to come through, it will then colourise your nib that you can see there and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Each time you go to use them, just give them a shake and then you can start using them straight away. So if you're wanting to go straight in colour by using your waterproof ink pad, therefore the actual colour of the outline it's not going to blend, it's not going to seep or leak. You're going to be able to colour straight away. What's also good with these stamps anyway, because you see the highlight lines underneath, they stand tall and proud underneath the actual glitter. So therefore you still see it and you still get that natural shading and depth with that highlight line that's already put in the stamp for you. Yeah. And then you go in and then you can just colour direct. Because they're also a hard nib, I know it might sound silly, but it's a really, really therapeutic pen to use and colour with. Mm -hmm. So you just go in and start to lay that colour up. If you find you get to a point that's just slowing down ever so slightly, what you can just do is go back to your glass mat or your surface, uh, okay. pump up and down a couple of times, and then carry on. So as I say, direct is one way, but because they are water-based, you can do a couple of things. You can go in. So let me just finish this one off here. Let's go in all the way round. You know these fill. are water-based, and you know you've obviously got your sparkle brush pens, mm -hmm. which you you take to your mat. Mm -hmm. Could you do that with these, or were they not really designed to sort Could of do, do that? Could do. You'll just intensify the sparkle. Okay. You're going to have the, the the glitter within really, really, really fine glitter within these pens. Mm. Then with that added sparkle, you're just going to intensify it. So mm -hmm. you know you'll do no damage whatsoever by using them both together. Answer's message, uh, do not shake them with the cap off. Sounds like you've, um, <laughs> you're saying that because uh, you've done it, Anne. It sounds like that, yes, <laughs> yeah. Be careful, that's a really good point in, in actual fact because uh, because you've got ink flowing through, if you shake it, there is a little chance that you're going to have some of that excess ink, glitter, glitter ink coming out. Right. So just be careful just be, on that be aware. One. But let's go in, let's go in with this petal here. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath that top petal where it's going to be dark, where that's going to be dark. And then let's go in with our paintbrush and water. So let's go in with our paintbrush and water. And then we can start to pull that out. Oh, so pretty. we can start to get a beautiful blend. But even when it gets to that light blend towards the end, you're still going to get glitter in there because you're pulling that glitter within that ink. So we can just keep pulling that out. So you're still going to be able to get that beautiful blend that you can just see at the corner of your screen there. Even if you want to go in and just pull that out just a little bit more, then you can do that. So you can either go in direct or what you can do, Ben, is if you go onto your glass mat or a tile or a plate, something like that, and just pump up and down, get some of that glitter ink coming through mm -hmm. 
and then you can come along and then just pick it up with your paintbrush. Yeah, this is what I was meaning. So yeah, and then you can just start to paint. Oh, wow. Colour in. So you get a really, really good coverage. Mm. I'm going to take some of that excess glitter ink off and then we can come in and then we can then start to pull that out. I'm going to take another little bit more off of that and then start to come in and pull that out. If I want to go in just with a little bit more depth, I can go in with a little bit more of that colour and then just start to blend that one out. So you can see we've either gone direct on mm. or we've gone in and then pulled the colour out or then with that one there what we've done is we've come along and then we've just picked the colour up from our glass mat. Let's just do one leaf here. Let's go in with the yellow or the neon green with this one here. Once again, you can, so there's a prime example. That one's not been used yet. Oh yeah. So you've got that white nib. So give that a really good shake. Give it a shake. I would say give it a, a shake a little bit longer than I'm doing it but then we can go into our glass mat and then we're just going to keep going up and down. We're just going to go up, down, up, down. And then as soon as you start to see that ink travel through, which doesn't take long at all, there we go, we can see that starting to pull there. Then you're good to go. So once again, let's go either direct in with the actual leaf. So we're just going to go and cover that full image or we can then, let's just pump that just a couple bits more, we can go in, I'm going to go down that central vein of the leaf, give a nice little pull there of colour, I'm going to take that excess pink off my paintbrush. Shall I tell you what Ben, let's bring in a sparkle overlay. Oh yeah, why not? Let's go in with a sparkle overlay Got here. those later on on Money Makers. So there we go. Oh, never! Oh. They're out of stock apparently. Damn and then, well done if you got those this morning, because they were, they were in stock this morning, so well done if you got them. People taking my advice and shopping early. Who'd have thunk it? I'm not surprised. Everyone takes your advice all the time. Well, then. thank you for the sake. What, Nicola, what the? She said, I try not to. <laughs> Lols. I'm really enjoying this demo, because I feel that you have shown these glitter markers, perhaps in lots of different ways that maybe we haven't seen for a while. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I, 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 these have... Um, I mean, they were high in my estimations anyway, but they've gone up further in my estimations now because they're more versatile than I thought they mm -hmm. were. Yeah, and keeping in mind, yes, because they're water-based, you can still do things such as your background techniques. You can still do washes and that as well if you wanted to. So if you want to come along, start to do blended washes. So you can just see it picking up there in the corner. You can still do that. You can still do you know, salt technique and that if you want to. Easier to do that with a sparkle pen though, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because I will say, you can see there that if you were wanting to do a great big background, yeah. it's going to take a little bit of time for you to, to can out. But it's just to show you, you can do it, Ben, if you want to. They are water-based. You've got a lot of creative play mm. when it comes to these mediums here. So say if you just want to write with them, you can do that. Yeah. Beautiful hard nib to write with. So if we come along, let's go in, and then we can just do, let's go. What's he going to write here? And oh, thank goodness. Craig and then Craig all big all for ever. Ever. Yes. There you go. There we go. So there we go. Direct in, going in underneath the petal, pulling that colour out, picking the ink up from the glass mat or the tile or your Gemini plate and non porous surface or a laminated sheet. Remember, if you've got your laminated sheet from your original Academy of Colour, oh, you yeah. have to use all of these mm -hmm. ones as well or just to write with them, start to do washes, background effects. And that's what you can do and more when it comes to these three pens alone with your paintbrush or your water brush or you've got your clear sparkle overlay. That's your six glitter pens, your neon glitter pens. They are $8.99 or $13.49 with a saving 25%. Or of course, if you are platinum, $7.19 or $10.79. You might already have them and they're ones that you love to use a lot. Then at that price, it's always good just to have that extra set mm. as well. As long as you're not activated them, you know, you've not got that colour flowing through the nib. They're still going to last within the chamber and have them uh, on their side as well. Don't have them up or down because then you're just going to have all that li liquid ink and the glitter just start to pool. So just start to uh, store them on their sides. Um, Anne, who shook hers with the cap off, said that she ends up with a very sparkling penguin, um, apparently. 
Um, and we must say hi to Cheryl Whedon, who's got in touch to say, good morning, Ben and Craig from Mesa, Arizona. I'm celebrating my birthday today whilst remembering Elvis and watching you guys. Well, Cheryl, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Hope you have a great day. Uh, and also hi to Pat, who says, thank you for showing how to use the glitter markers, Craig. I purchased them, but haven't used them yet. Like so many of my purchases, I didn't think about blending colours like that. That's what I mean. I think we've seen the glitter markers being demoed occasionally. Mm -hmm. but I think that was a, just about as thorough as a demo you're, you're likely to see. Just shows again that they are more versatile than you think. Yeah. And well, I actually didn't show there, and you just said it there, is you can blend them. Yeah. You know, you can blend different shades in that as well onto your glass mat or craft mm. mat. Um, Roslyn says the glitter markers also work well on MDF. Yes, they will do. The, mm. what, what I would say, anything like that MDF or that is really going to suck it in really, really quite quick. You will get a layer of that sparkle on the top as well. MDF, whether it's sucking in that ink, what we'll do then is, you, I'm not going to say you waste that ink, but of course the pens aren't going to last as long on something like a cardstock or that, which of course is going to uh, take in that ink. However, MDF or that is going to take in a lot more but yes, you can do that. Uh, Rhonda says, I do really love these markers. I coloured a funny fairy colouring book page with these. I should love to see that. Feel free to keep sending in pictures. I know we've got pictures of cats to show. Um, we've got people in the gallery now as well saying they want to see my Elvis and Bowie impressions. I'm not a performing monkey. I can't. Yes, I you can't, are. I can't because we've already done, I've done my quote of impressions and if I keep doing them, then people will complain and I'll get in trouble. So unless everybody asks for more. I think more. that ship has sailed already with the pair of us. <laughs> One hour and 16 minutes. I think that, that sail, that ship had sailed 15 minutes into the start of the show, Ben. Yeah, we're supposed to be back later on for Monday Makers. I keep uh, checking my phone, seeing if there's like an email alert coming in from the boss. I normally get messages on WhatsApp, so I'm, I'm good, because obviously I've got mine open for the comments. Um, it's normally when the boss's name pings to the top, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what have I done now? After the show, when you've got a minute, yeah. come you... and see me in the office. Yeah, oh. don't you just hate that? Do I need to worry? Nothing back. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> if it's nothing to worry about, I get, uh, yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Yeah. If I get nothing, it's like, mm. uh oh, dun, Ben's, dun, Ben's dun. pushed it now. Who? Me? You. No, you. you. You started all the naughtiness today. Naughtiness. Um, I tell you what, before what? we look at like what? Um, what? a cat, yeah. a cheetah, yeah. we're going to look at some kittens. Oh. We'll go from the, oh, come on. This is Ariel. Oh. And Ben. That oh. is so cute. Who, who did Erin and Ben belong to? Uh, now I'm asking you the other way around. Normally we get the name of the, the owner, don't we? But look at those two. Linda's two little um, pussy cats. They're so cute. I, I genuinely do miss having a cat at home. Do you? I, yeah. Because we had little nut, didn't we? You passed away nearly a year ago now. She was 20. Is it really nearly a year? Yeah. Tw nearly 21 she was. I miss them. She's, those are super cute, Erin and Ben. And then look, oh, this, this next picture, Kirsty D, oh. Freya. She's got a little bow tie on. How cute. That is so cute. Little bow tie. No, she looks, I don't know if she looks happy to be having a picture taken on or what in that picture. Oh, she loves it, Nicholas says, apparently. Very cute, love this. I like the name, Lil Freya. Bit. Oh, here's Lil Bit. Lil Bit, who did, this is. One of four of Michelle's cats. And Michelle. Who? No. Oh, oh Michelle's, Michelle's crafty creations, creations. yes. Yeah. Little bit. Little bit looks a little bit happier. It does. To have picture taken. Uh, and from Little bit. To hang in there. To a very tired uh, puss. Uh, Hannah's cat. Lily. That is brilliant. Oh, apparently, so if you watched this morning and saw Sam's cat, Hadrian, apparently Lily does often sit like Hadrian. I mean, there, Lily has had a day, hasn't yeah. she? <laughs> she's had. She's just, <laughs> she's just got up and already. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got up, walked to her food, had her food, and then uh, nap time. I mean, that, yeah. That, that, that sounds like a perfect day. I like we did there. And then, I mean, these two. Plop. Plop and chow chow. I feel like I've seen Chow Chow before. Hasn't Chow Chow been on a craft along? Chow Chow is the black and white cat, yeah. And Pluff is the fluffy. Oh, so what did Chow Chow make? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a clever cat. Yeah, um, I can't, I, yeah, I can't, I can't quite remember. I did well, it wasn't a catastrophe. Oh. Um, I'm sure Chow Chow's been on a craft along. Anyway, 
Let us know, Michelle. Very cute, those two. This is a Britain's lovely... Britain's got talent. Though. Britain's got talent, the but crafting America's cat. Got talent. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. This is Michelle's fourth cat, Rebel. She's very cute, isn't she? Or he? So, so cute. What sort of cat is that? Pussy cat. A beach cat? Oh, peach cat. Very cute. Um, from Rebel to Rafa. Jim Jam's cat, Rafa, who is... Um, Looks Siamese cat. If you please. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I've, I've really, really enjoyed this um, See little another cats? lineup of... Do you think you would get another cat? I would get another cat, but Laura is not up for getting another cat. What is Laura going to do if I just turn up with a cat? Can you imagine? Turn up tonight. Hi, honey, I'm home with, with a, a cat. cat. Um, but yeah, thank you for sending those in. Uh, uh, yeah, more, more cats, please. This was off the fact that um, Annika, our lovely guest on Wake Up Call, was talking earlier on how she... Yes, I knew Chow Chow Tea! Never forget a cat, me. Never forget a cat or a dog. You're like an elephant. Huh? You're like an elephant. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I never forget a cat or a dog. Um, yes. An elephant never forgets. An elephant never forgets. Unless you squash it in the Gemini. That was about a year ago, wasn't it? It was. Funny, it's funny you saying that. That's come up a couple of times on uh, a card that I made last week on Hobby Maker. I'm giving it away on my Facebook page. And I've just put, um, what funny shopping TV moments do you remember? Do you like? And I'd say, <laughs> I've opened it any shopping TV across the, the globe because I, I love watching bloopers from shopping TV. That's actually come up a few times with us is this, this squashed elephant. That was very funny. Mm -hmm. My favourite moment, I think, with you was fairly early on, on here, not on the other place where we used to be, and you know the one I'm talking about. Oh, like the hot dog. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of my favourite moments ever. <laughs> that was good. Does anyone remember that? Remember what we're talking about? I can't really go into it um, in too much detail, but it's safe to say both Craig and I were... I mean, we have some laugh, right, don't we? But neither of us could speak. We, no. well, I was throwing to him, he was throwing back to me, I was, and we, could, we had to go through a break because we were crying with laughter, weren't we? Yeah, the, mm. the office is like, you know, we've got our next studio next door to, you know, Sarah will do, do HSN, that we obviously use it as well, and then we've got like a control room, and then we've got the office next door to that, and you could hear them, absolutely hysterical, yeah. absolutely hysterical. Um, if, that, if I've got that clip somewhere, I might repost it again at um, some You're point. You're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find it. Uh, Stephanie says, my grandkids named their cat Chicken Nuggets, and I have no idea why. A surprise name, isn't it? Chicken Nuggets! Chicken Nuggets! <coughs> Love that. Love it. Yeah. Uh, and from a load of cats to another cat yeah, of lots sorts. Of chicken Nuggets and that. You could get, you could get a tidy amount of Chicken nu uh, chicky Nuggets. Chicken Nuggets? Chicken Nuggets! <laughs> Chicky, 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 chicky nuggets. Or as I call them, chicken nug nugs. Chicky nug nug. Chicky nug nugs. That's what I call Tracy. My little chicken nug nug. <laughs> I would love, after the show, if you were just to go through there and go, chicken nug nugs. My little chicken nugget. Chicken nug nugs. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? She's out there, so would I. Hey, my little chicken nug nug. Hello. We're going to film this after the show and see what response we get from Tracy. My um, little chicken nug nug. Get, get your bleep machine ready. Uh, right, <laughs> the, the, the deluxe tote, the raspberry cheetah. I know um, we had the deluxe tote with Craig a little bit earlier on in the show. Everything you love about that is this, right? It's, it's, it's all of that, but for the fact that you've got this gorgeous uh, limited edition raspberry cheetah design to it. So it's, it's got all of the wow, I'll use that um, word that Craig used a little bit earlier on. It's got the pizzazz as well, this one. Matches up very nicely with your um, two other totes that you've got in the raspberry, and of course, your uh, lowest tote, um, which has that raspberry detailing. So if, you, if you're one for kind of matching up your crafty luggage, if you like, then you absolutely need to get this um, alongside the other totes desktop tote and of course the um, the lowest tote as well it's all about the practicalities with this as well not just the look of it the practicalities are pockets beyond pockets all across the front here nice deep pockets as well on the side you've got pockets both sides in fact and as Craig was talking about a little bit earlier on with the original deluxe tote you've got this um, zip pocket on the back there so again if you did want to take out the inner workings of this and transport one of your uh, machines put your junior in there for example and um, you could get, keep your cables in there absolutely no problem at all any of your pens will go in there really nicely. I always think too, if you're um, 
perhaps taking this with you to um, a craft fair or something like that, then you want all your bits and pieces in here. Y your more important things, maybe like your car keys, um, purse, wallet, that kind of thing can go in like the um, zip pocket on the back to keep all of that nice and safe. Again, um, built and stitched absolutely beautifully because as we know, and I'll, I'll quote TV, um, or I'll, I'll example TV wifey here, Debbie Robinson, her tote is jam packed full to the rafters. She pretty much packs her whole craft room into one of these and they'll take it because they have been uh, made so well, stitched so beautifully. Um, so you know what, these will take a great weight. You've got those really nice uh, chunky handles as well. So when these do get heavy, they're not gonna dig into your fingers and um, make your hands hurt. Um, they're, they're cushioned and, and comforted if it does get heavy. And like we've shown you earlier on, inside you've got all of those different compartments for storing all of your crafty goodies. However, as we showed you earlier on, you have got the ability to pop those out. So if you wanna pop in something a little bit bigger, like your junior, um, you can pop that in there absolutely no problem at all with room to spare with those plates of course that you can pop on the top um, as well. It's a fantastic buy once again this uh, limited edition uh, saving 30% today less your uh, club inspired discount so if you are a platinum member we are just at 19.59 or 22.37 today uh, and as we said not just for your craft but we were talking earlier on weren't we about um, I mean I Hmm. I kind of think this is almost a little bit too nice to pop in all of your um, lotions and potions and use it in the garden. But it's, it's into, you, you do think, oh, Nicola thinks it's the perfect one for lotions and potions. Hmm? Is I could have my floral Yankee Candle mitt, wax melts in one, my fruit in another. I could put my sweet ones in another. Yeah. Not that I'd be walking around with a bag with Yankee Candle Wax melts in them, but storage. Although I've got my Tiffany trolley for all that. <laughs> How many cats would you fit in a deluxe? So I can guarantee that if you took the inner workings out of this and popped this on the floor, that if you had a cat in your house, there would be a cat in this very, very soon after. Um, I've got this bag, says Ords, uh, but not the raspberry one, the original one. Or maybe you want to add this to your collection. Uh, Beverly says, Ben, you should have brought a cat home the other day when you took home the mop. It's exactly what I should have done, Beverly. You're right. I should have just gone and taken, got a cat, taken that home. I asked for a mop. Oh, mop. Oh, I thought you said cat. Cause it sounds very similar, doesn't it? Cat, mop, mop, cat. Pretty much the same thing. Anyway, uh, let's move over to Craig. If you want a ridiculous, bonkers deal when it comes to craft kits, easy man. I've got no words. Okay, um, Craig, thanks very much. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a good sell. Yeah, sell, I've got no it? words. Um, <laughs> the other one I'm going to show Nicholas has the same price. I think both it the is. Same price. I just, so you've got one or the other. $7.99. I'm going to quickly go through them. So it's a choice, or if you do go for both, but either way, each of them individually are $7.99. £7.99 or $7.99. I'm going to tell you, that's got to be more than what it is to actually produce. So let's take the pop-out scene here. This is a concept here. Now, you can use them in many, many different ways. You don't have to use them in the concept. You will see, because this is part of our craft club now, of course, uh, it was our monthly craft club kits that we've done. Of course, nowadays... Um, through HSN America and QVC UK with our craft club. So this was before that. But you can still go in, you've got the address there. Each month I would do a tutorial, a couple of tutorials within each box. But this gives you everything that you need to create projects. You just need to add your scissors, some adhesive. But within this one, it's all about the concept of creating the pop-out within the front. So you can create that pop-out element. So if you see myself and Ben on New Year New Craft last week, with the scoreboard and I showed you that pop-out card. Oh, Remember, yeah. that's what you're going to do to create these ones. So you're going to create them again. There is those videos out there. But with these, you've got the little fairy with the little deer there and the little bunny rabbit. This one, you've got the boy or the girl with the balloon and the birthday cake. Now, Ben, that cuts into your card. Yep. Bring in some nesting dies. If you want a lovely selection of small nesting dies, you might want to tune in to lunch day. 
next Monday with myself and Ben that's mm -hmm. going to complement these. But use your outline dies, that's going to release it from your card. But then you've got some balloons, so that's going to work in with your set. You're also going to get your sentiments or your butterflies. Then you're going to get, I'm going to say out of all of the monthly craft kits that we done, this was my favourite in colour. I love the browns, I love the navies, I love the yellows as well. You get your actual card blank, so you get your 6x6, six six, you get your 5x7, you get your 4x6, you've got the envelopes as well. You've got all of your satin ribbon here as well. You're then also going to get, they all come individually wrapped in these envelopes, which are great for using as background papers. But what you've got is eight by eight. Now, very, very useful for the masculine cards. Yeah. This would also work really well with your cheers to you as well when it comes to these papers here. So you've got these papers. Now, these are an uncoated, so you can ink them, spritz them, tear them. Maybe you're looking to do some layouts of a card, maybe then next Monday, and these are gonna work well for doing layouts. But all of these different colors you've got here, all these different colors you've got, matching ribbons, matching card blanks, you've then also got the pearls, self adhesive, you've got all those stamps, and you've got the dies as well. All of that, $9.99 or $9.99, you're saving £15 or $19.96, but your platinum price for all of that, over 200 elements, $7.99 or $7.99. Now, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna say most of you that have been in the craft club or previously have got this one. Yeah. For that price there, for everything else, you might not use the dies, gift them, give them to a charity, take them to a craft club or craft crop, and use all the papers, all the embellishments, all the ribbons and all the card blanks as well. Or of course, great for a gift. So there's that one, but then you've also got that. The reason I was checking with Nicola, Nicola and James about the price on this one, because not only can I not believe that one was uh, $7.99, just to say, if you were following the numbers, it did happen to be number 38 when we done these as the monthly craft club boxes. So if you want to know the number, that was number 38, maybe you were missing that one. This one is 47. Now wait until you see the stamps that you've got here. Remember Sheena's recently launched collection, the butterflies with the dies on the end? Oh uh, yes. Or the edge, it's that sort of yeah. concept. So you've got a huge, look at the size of that butterfly. That butterfly, Ben, it is, five and a half inches in width by four inches in height. That's just the butterfly. The sunflower, you've got the cute bunny rabbit as well. Big old stamps. Big, big stamps. But then you've got a die to work with each one. These all become edgeables, but then use the stamps on their own if you want to, with all of those sentiments. So you've got them. Once again, you might already have this box for $7.99 or $7.99 for all of these papers here. You've got your florals in there, you've got your watercolour washes, you've got your tartan and plaids in there as well. And then if there was ever a collection this time of the year that's going to be perfect for springtime, it's this one. Look at the fresh colours. Seeing it again, if you've got it, Ben, get it again, strip it, strip the components inside here. These are going to be so good for your springtime, your floral cards as well, or you can then gift the stamps and the dies. But then you've got your pastel tones from your satin ribbons. So you've got your three different uh, thicknesses and then you've got nine reels in total. You've got your gems as well, beautiful Aurora Borealis feel to these gems here. Then you're getting your card blanks as well. Card blanks are all the same size, and that is four by six to work into the size of the actual concept. But then you've got your envelopes too, all individually packaged that you can see here. And as I say, use all of that packaging for additional mats and layers and backgrounds. All of that is what you're getting. $9.99, $9.99. You're saving £15 or $19.96. But you're then going to be to make 16 cards, look after the stamp and the dies, and then using all your own card blanks and your own card stocks are going to last you a lifetime if you look after them. Getting it all for $7.99 or $7.99. Absolutely exceptional. That one, as I say, was number 47. So you can go for one or the other or go for both of them, but each of them individually, $7.99 platinum or $7.99. If you've got it, get it again.
because you won't regret having all these extras. Absolutely, you won't. Uh, definitely, Craig says, Stephanie, use the contents at this price. It's just a ridiculous deal. It really is. Uh, love the super large stamps as well, says Adriana. Uh, Stephanie says, I always felt Ben should have shared his trophy with Craig for doing the scoring show last week. Uh, he was a hero to many that day for his explanations. I guess Ben never saw my message. I didn't see it, but if you do remember, um, during that show, mm -hmm. I did give him an award. Um, which is on top of the little mini thing he's got over there uh, right now. In fact, you know what? He's been so good. Craig, you are brilliant. So congratulations. I'm going to give you uh, this award again for doing such a great show last week. Um, I'm going to do this award here for, being, um, uh, for having the best line on a Monday morning. And I'm going to give you this one here um, for your um, amazing Jamaican tan and haircut. Oh, Lord. thank you. So I gladly you. accept them. Mm. Um, like, joking aside as well, the amount of comments that I got off the back of that scoring one, I appreciate mm. so much. I'm glad you loved it. Can I just say, though, as a whole, though, that whole week last week, New Year, mm -hmm. New Craft, I was dipping in with Corinne in the launch and what she was showing you as well as the Leanne with the glitters and that. Just as that whole launch, I was so lucky to be on that opposite side with Debbie as mm. well, Debbie uh, Fisher. Um, just exceptional. Debbie Robinson was in at the weekend. Lily was in as Is this well. Your acceptance speech. I just, I just wanted to say I appreciate all the comments that were sent my way. However, that full week was absolutely fab. Absolutely fab. Talking about those fantastic um, shows that we had last week, I love what you did there. Love what you did there. Uh, one of the uh, fantastic shows that we had was actually my first day back after Christmas when we introduced you. Send a break. What? Well, you're always off on holiday. Not me. Not me. You're Mr. off more than that TV duo used to be. TV duo? I'm no, no, no longer a duo. Oh. I'd like to think I'm in here. I think Debbie Fisher's got the, the hashtag now of like... I would say the back end of last year, yeah. 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 We were all away at Christmas, come on, weren't we? I just had an extra day, that was all it was. Me you went the day before anyway, so you could shush. You went one Debbie day early. Robinson keep getting an email saying... You remember you've got holidays to take. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. You never take them. Oh, don't. I work my days off around them. <laughs> oh, you're off that weekend, Craig. Right, OK, well, I'll take my day off on the Thursday and the Friday, then. That's how I do it. Very clever. So it's, all, it's all legit, by the way. Stores his holiday. It's all on it's the all, jet. It's all, it's all legit. Oh, all legit. Yeah. I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't do. No. That's a great way, actually. Like, extend your weekend mm. and then save up your holiday. Yep. You can roll it over into next year, then, can't you, as well? If you don't see Craig don't uh, um, very much from April to April next year, then it's because he's rolled over about four weeks of holiday. I, and he I really has actually, gone to Jamaica. I am actually thinking, because we've not been asked for availability yet next month, so I'm thinking maybe either February or March I'm going to take I want to decorate my living room. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah. Mm. We'll have plenty of time to with all of that holiday. I'm going to need to sort my loft as well, but I've been saying that for like three years now. You want to do what? Sort my loft. Ah, OK. Well, I've been crafting for like over 20 years, mm. so I've got so many companies up in my loft, my attic, plus everything else that I just threw up there. Mm. True story. Anyway, last week... That was a good throw, but it's gone on a bit now, hasn't it? Last week, we had some amazing shows, and one of those most amazing shows was when uh, Leanne launched the mesmerising glitter pastes. Um, I won't say too much about these because we've got a video here which will explain these all in full detail for you. Um, details on your screen for the uh, glitter paste on their own. It is an eight-piece collection. There are stencils available for you as well. Best thing I can say to you is to uh, head to the website, Go on the, um, uh, the search bar and you can search for the mesmerising glitter paste and those stencils which came with the Showstopper bundle. £52 or $63.20 for all of these glitter pastes. And I tell you what, if you missed the shows last week, here is Liam taking you through all of the colours that you're going to get. I mean, just wait, you are about to be wowed and mesmerised here. And also showing you just how adaptable these are when it comes to applying them to loads and loads of different materials. So here's Leanne. We'll catch you back here uh, for a final wrap up in just a moment. They're absolutely amazing, Ben. So what we've got here is our brand new range of uh, mesmerising glitter paste. Mm. And what we've done is create a beautiful glitter paste with all of the properties of our previous glitter paste, how you use them um, and how versatile they are. 
but we've given you a coarser, chunkier particle, which gives you this beautiful colour play. And we've included more than one colour in the pot. So you get this colour shift and change and high, intense sparkle refraction of light. That was Enchanted Lake. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on just so I can tell you the rest. <laughs> then we've got Peacock. Wow. And what you'll see here, look, the dark navies, mm. the, violet, the violet in there also, the teal, that jade green, the gold. You can see as I move it how that glitter paste colour shifts and changes. Then we've got my favourite... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. You've got all of those jades, golds, bronze, green. Oh my word, it is so beautiful. Look at the colour shift and change. And this is what will happen for you in your projects. Then we have Mermaid's Tail. Mermaid's Tail really is that beautiful. Uh, it is a mermaid's tail. It is, yeah. You've got that lovely aqua, you've got the gold and green, the navy, the azure colour in there as well, which is really lovely, that beautiful topaz look to it. And you can see that beautiful colour shift, refraction of light and the intense shine and sparkle that we've got in all of these pastes. This one, Moon Bloom, absolutely exquisite mm. because it's got that lovely gold, um, rose gold and kind of bronze all the way shot through that beautiful pink underlayer, which is fabulous. Then we've got Wood Nymph. Wood Nymph is, um, again, a beautiful and it really does have that lovely shift of colour yeah. from the deep teal through the emerald, through the gold green um, and through the lime colour there. Gorgeous. That's very Elvira for me. And then we get the Mystical Ocean. That's the one we've just been using on the Neon Dreams pad, where wow, you can yes. see it's beautiful with the lilacs and the azures and the navies. Looks absolutely glorious. And then finally, my second favourite, Rose Garden, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. You've got through the greens, the rose colours, the rose golds in there. You've got a little shot of blue and lilac in there. It's absolutely exceptional i love it and i think it's safe to say as well like we've looked through all of those um amazing uh colors but the other amazing thing about these is that they go on to leanne don't they pretty much anything everything yes so mm. let me just show you a few things that we've got here um i'm just reach over and get this one a slate coaster oh yes so this is very subtle um i love it but this is with equinox and you can see as it's dry it really does show that glitter and shine a little bit more. This is with Rose Garden, so you can be customising your slate courses if you want to. This uh, was an MDF oh, yes. tag, mm -hmm. and you can use it on your MDF tags if you want to. Um, these are just some little pieces that we did earlier where you can see on a cardstock, that's Rose Garden, and look at the colour shift and change yeah. in Rose Garden there. And the colour shift just become more obvious when it's dry, Ben. When it's wet, it interferes with the refraction of light a little bit, so it's easier to see that colour change when the piece is dry. And that's the same colour, by the way, on black. So you can see the difference between using them on black and it's on the white cardstock. Look, Look at the change. colour change on the black. Look. Wow. From the green through the Rose Garden, it really is beautiful. Mm. Let me do it this way for you. So you'll see it that way easier. There we go. Greens and blues through to the rose garden. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Uh, use them on your candles. Oh, yes. So you see here we've decorated a candle. Look how gorgeous that is. And I have to say, loving this freestyled little border on the bottom of a candle. Yeah. Uh, really, that's going to be the future for me. You can apply it in a thin layer and have it delicately, or you can apply it in a really thick layer and have it very dimensional, standing up off the top of the candle, entirely up to and you. And just to reiterate, we can burn those then, can't we? Yes, you can burn them very safely. I've tried mm. that out for you. And then this has to be the best oh yeah the acetate so on acetate we've done the ombre look how fabulous and jim's going to come in really lovely and close for you to see in those little windows the particles there we go oh, you can see the size incredible. of the particle you can see them dancing with the light how they're changing the color <laughs> and that's just um onto acetate uh, three different colours. We've got Equinox, we've got Rose Garden and we've got Mystical Ocean on mm -hmm. there. 
and look it's like a little disco ball of fabulousness isn't it i, I really that. do think that shows you what i mean about the the larger particle which really does refract the light very well and give you that color shift and change now uh shall i show you just very quickly ben how yeah, to put it down absolutely that'd be brilliant so i've got here a piece which is um how many water reactive ink, orange okay. and yellow, a little bit of four bleaching. I've got some repositionable adhesive on the back of my, oh, it's come off. I'm going to put a bit more on because I don't want it to move. There we go. On the back of my stencil. Uh, my stencil's just been took out the bath. It needs a bit of a better clean. It's got some bits of blue on there, but yeah. you'll have time, uh, more time on your hands than I have. Okay. And then I'm going to use e Equinox. Of course you are. Of course I That's am. It's been your firm favourite today, I think. It's been it? a firm favourite. That and Rose Garden mm. are, the, are the two that I tend to go for the most. Um, and then with this glitter paste, when you spread it on, because those particles are larger than in our original glitter pastes, mm -hmm. you just need to make sure that you're getting them into the spaces on the stencil because um, it, you don't want to pick those particles up and remove them with your palette knife. And I'll just show you there. If I press too hard, did you see how I've been able to remove it there? Yeah. And that was just too much pressure. So you're gliding over the top to put that in place. If you scrape it down, you're removing it you can see that there so i just want to show you that because that is a little bit of a different technique to the original glitter pastes um and then don't clean the excess off your stencil until you've removed it yes because by trying to clean it you've just seen there what you will do is remove some of that paste and you don't want to do that you want to leave it on so we leave it on and then we clean off the stencil after we've removed it okay so once we've got the paste on there to remove the stencil it's one confident pull and it doesn't have to be fast it just has to be one smooth motion so you're not whipping it off quick uh, but you're not lifting and peaking lifting and peaking no. lifting and peaking you're just deciding i'm going to remove it i'm removing it now one confident <sighs> pull and you've got the most exquisite designs now this is going to get removed can I just show you that before before I wiggle this at you? Um, so I'm going to get a spare piece. This could be a piece of uh, scrapbook paper yep. or something from the Neon Dreams. At this point, put that down so you can use it again. It could be an inked background, Ben. Imagine whatever it is you want it to be underneath other than a piece of basic white card. Then go and do your clean-up, and you're just taking all of the paste that is around your stencil okay. and you're redistributing it into the stencil spaces. So you're kind of trying to pick it off. You can see that there, but then I'm just redistributing into the spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm taking it off the actual stencil background, comes on my palette knife, redistribute. And then what you will create is a practically clean stencil that will not require much cleaning in your stencil bath at all but what you will have is a really lovely let's just get that up there we go a really lovely more distressed design oh, that's and great. that's the second use and you yeah. see there's hardly any paste left now to go into that stencil bath and that will still catch the light beautifully and that's almost the waste that's the second the second coming, if you like, <laughs> yeah, yes. um, because it's got all of that lovely refraction. Now, this is the one I've just done. Yeah. Um, and this is still wet, so you can still see some of that lovely colour change in there. But I'm just going to grab one that I did earlier that is dry now. And you'll be able to see the colour change much more once it's dry. Look how beautiful that is <sighs> from the golds and the greens to the coppers. It's absolutely unbelievable. This is isn't where it? you see it best for me here. Um, this let me shot. just show you here. Right, yeah. so. Look at the green underneath now. I yeah. mean, oh my goodness me. Look at the change. Yeah. And Incredible. it goes all the way to the top and then back again. So that's that beautiful colour with those particle sizes, the type of particle we've put in here, that colour interference. That's what you're going to see yourself when let's try and do it this way for you as well. That's, yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's what you're going to see yourself because you'll see it in your natural eye, in the natural light, so much easier 
than you can see it in an unnatural studio light but i think that's managing to show you that color shift and change right there in front of your eyes it's incredible isn't it and it will improve as it gets dry um much, makes it much much easier for you you will have the best time with these and you're going to use them on canvas on fabric on coasters on wood on pottery on glass on mirror on slate on wax on paper on card on vellum on acetate there on sneakers on denim jackets on leather on felt on velvet there is just you can't name a substance a surface where i'm going to say to you no you're not going to be able to do that it's not going to stick it will stick and it will be permanent to hand wash in hand hot or uh, if you're putting it on fabric at 30 degrees on a synthetic cycle in your washing machine no, preferably a non-biological powder but you're going to be able to wash it as well it's the most incredible glitter paste and can i say if you've had glitter paste in the past and you haven't had a good experience don't let that put you off trying our glitter paste please try them because we've put all of the effort into making sure that it will just perform for you and it will do whatever you ask it to do so good that show um that was a week ago, wasn't it? Nearly a week ago, unbelievably. Um, and it's good to go back and check it out and uh, look at all of that with the Anne. I know so many of you picked that up. Feel free again to start, if you're doing projects with your mesmerising glitter paste, to start tagging us in those over on uh, Facebook, on Insta. Uh, and again, feel free to send in pictures. We love a gallery. Let's make 2024 the year of the gallery. I mean, it's been great looking at cats, but it's also... Do, 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 do. It's also great looking at um, cards as well. Well, I've just heard as well that for the next show, we've got a picture of a vacuum to come as well. I'm, I'm assuming that's not that from is... Kate, is it? Kate that sent in her air fryer a couple of years ago. <laughs> I still remember that. What was the chat there? Sending pictures. But try and make... What did you say? Sending your, send your pictures. I think yes, your crafty, crafty makes, I think it was. Mm. I've got a picture of an air fryer. Well, you can be crafty with an air fryer, can't you? Mike Daisy's been trying to get me to get an air fryer because I think all you of should. her friends' parents have got one and she said, oh, Dad, there was one in um, Tesco's or something recently, a te club card price of, like, £50 or something, so I might have to have a look. Oh, does it make good chips? Huh? Roast tatties. Mm. Oh. Bit short of cash this month, unfortunately. In January is like oh, a long, tell me about long it. month, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Looking the other day, thinking, oh, I wonder when payday is. Oh, it's still 632 days away. Do you know what? You know what's worse as well? Mm -hmm. It's when you're someone like me that has like lots of easy pays on QVC. Oh At the yeah. Time it's great, and then each month when they keep coming out, it's like, oh yeah, forget about that. Never mind. Um, Rachel says it was what are you doing at the Mo or something lol that's what you said and that's why she right. sent in a picture of your um, air, air fryer anyway if you want the mesmerizing glitter paste here they all are Leanne's just taking you through those in great detail um, great price 52 pounds or 63 dollars 20 is your platinum price and if you do want those stencils as well they are available for you as an individual item uh, Sue just saying Lily made a beautiful card this morning using the mesmerizing glitter paste she did I think that actually won the demo of the show as well so yeah there it is that will be up for the noms Sun a little card. bit later on. Yeah, because there won't be a demo of the show for this show. No. We'll do something for Monday Makers, although I've not got a hope in hex chance, I don't think. Well, don't put yourself down, Craig or Bagel. OK, I won't. OK. Um, we're nearly done, so just a, two quick final little um, items for you that you might want to get your hands on. We have got a selection of the um, Crafters Inspiration magazines for you. We've got uh, three and four available for you. And this is actually box three of the Global Crafters Inspiration magazine. These are brilliant again, because what you're going to get... Oh, there's Craig or Bagel. There's a Q&A with Craig in this. Oh, just buy this one. That You need no other reason, because no, it's got Craig no. in it. Has it got Craig's living room in it? I'm going to let's find oh, out. Yeah, is that the one we're in the social? Page just randomly 44. took a picture of my anyway, living room. Anyway, in here, you have got loads of um, hints, tips and ideas with all of the freebies that you're going to get inside here as well from the Oh Holy Night collection. I say from the Oh Holy Night collection. It's almost like an extension pack that you're getting because if you pick that up, we're going to give you stamps, we're going to give you an embossing folder and uh, papers and dies, which are exclusive to this actual magazine. Yeah, there he is. Page 64, getting to know... Twitter word. Craigle Bagel. Love machine. He is the love machine himself. And along, so you've got a bit of a Q&A. You get a look inside his house. And also, uh, Craig talks about his essential crafters companion products, which is marvellous. What are his essentials? Uh, oh, of course, yes, the, um, the Gemini, the Junior. 
Can he's I got just say as well, while Ben's reading that, I don't yeah. actually think that I am a love machine. If you didn't see the New Year's Eve special that we done, then I know I probably sound quite vain and big-headed. I don't think I'm that whatsoever. It's not what it says here. Do you have any nicknames? Yes, a nickname I gave to myself was Love Machine. It is because I am a love machine. That's what it says. <laughs> Uh, he will say, like he, proves not. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to buy it to find out. But look, you've got loads of inspo in there um, and all these papers as well. So if you've loved this collection, um, you can take the papers out the centre, uh, get crafting with those. You've also got um, all of these little toppers and um, tags and sentiments that you can get working with too. And also for this ridiculous price of just $7.99 or $11.19, as I've mentioned, you're going to get a set of beautiful sentiments. It is the Oh Holy Night collection, but as I say, if you pick the full collection up, this is different to the items that you bought within that set. You've got a beautiful embossing folder in there uh, and also the most stunning two-piece die set um, with the manger scene there as well. So if you take into account all of that, that uh, die set, the stamps and that embossing folder, I mean, that price is a mockery already and you get all of the inspiration too. Seven, thank you, Seven ninety-nine. <laughs> Both at the same time. <laughs> that is a good word. Mockery. Uh, £7.99 or $11.19 is your platinum price on that. And as I say, if you like the idea of getting some inspiration for your uh, new year, there are more magazines available for you on the um, show as well. So do check those out on the website. One final quick deal before we disappear. Um, it's a flipping good deal as well, this one. It is indeed, yes, it is. Forgot for a moment that was live there, and Nicola just said, that's a really good one. I'm just having a conversation. That's a really good one. Yeah. It's a good one, isn't it? Uh, we've got our flip markers here. Now, when you start to colour or write, as you tilt them, they're then going to blend into another coloured look. So you've got your six colours here, but as we can just see, for instance, like, see here, you've got the fuchsia that goes into the pink, you've got the purple that goes into the, oh, do you want to go back? Do you want to go, oh, there we go. Let's go back to the fuchsia there that you can Ray! see. First one of the year. Your eclipse, you've then got your dark that goes into the deep purple as well. Blue into the green, you've got another purple into a blue, and then you've got a gray that goes into your light tone there. So that's your six colors when it comes to the pens, but as I say, with it being the flip, they do change, they flip into another color. All six of them from Spectrum Noir, $9.99 or $13.32, but your platinum price of $7.99 or $10.66. What I was doing, what I was colouring uh, just beforehand when you see me doodling away was one of the floral stamps from the set that's coming up on Monday Maker. So all that was doing was just colouring away. I'm just trying to tilt that so you get that additional colour that comes out too. But you can also, like the glitter pens, they're a hard bullet nib, so if you want to do your handwriting with them, and then you're going to get that different tinge as well when it comes to the colour. So as I said, $9.99, $13.32, you're saving over 30%, but your platinum then comes down by 20%, which means you're going to get for $7.99 or $10.66, also being water-based as well. So although that one, I just done it on a smooth cardstock, because I'm not over oversaturating the cardstock, but your watercolour cardstock, if you want to do what I've done about blending with the paintbrush, just make sure it's on your watercolour card. There we go. And I think that pretty much just um, wraps up your craft bulk today. Crazy deals. We've got through a lot. By no means have we got through everything. There are some deals that uh, you will still be able to find on the website. Uh, but check them out. Everything that we've just shown you, plus some extra deals as well. Hit the shop, the show button, and you'll see all of our crazy deals in the craft vault but like I said the best thing that you can do is get on there now um, and be quick because a lot of the items on this show are actually very low in stocks um, so if you see something you like get it in your basket get it checked out also over on the website for you is our sale when it comes to storage up to 30% off across a whole range of different lines for you I know we've kind of covered a bit of storage on this show with the um, various deluxe totes that we brought to you the hang and hold the buddy bags but there's Loads more there as well. If you go to the homepage of crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu, you will find uh, that main page. Click on that, 30% off storage, and there's loads in there. Totally Tiffany goodies. We've got more buddy bags, fab files in there, um, more totes as well. The lot. Have a good look. Uh, you'll find lots there for you. 
We're back in just over an hour's time. Monday Makers, what you got up your sleeve for, uh, for Monday Makers? We're going to have a look at these collage stamps. We'll also have a look at the Duet ink pads. We'll also have a look at the scattered corner and border car, uh, dies. And uh, I think we'll both get together with Nicola and see if there's anything else that we're going to uh, sprinkle into Monday Makers. Absolutely. Uh, I think we've got four, possibly three now Monday Mega Deals. So those are going to be marvellous. And uh, keep sending your pictures in, any recent projects you've made, or indeed let's keep on the theme of sending in pictures of your cats. We would love more cat pictures, particularly cats in craft rooms, because uh, we're just in that sort of frame of mind today. Uh, thank you so much to Craig. I cannot wait till the show in an hour's time. Hopefully you'll join us then. Until then, keep shopping. Uh, we'll see you back here in an hour. Toodles!